it's just kind of frustrating and disappointing. Hey guys, so it's a couple days after I played that match against a junior Thai player. I lost in two sets. I believe it was 16 and 15 or something like that. Obviously, I'm sad that I lost first round. Just like my performance lately has just not been good and I've been training more as I said in the previous Dutch Open vlog it's just kind of frustrating and disappointing for myself but I think I know what I'm lacking now but at the beginning of the game I just felt like she kept pressuring me at the back and because the bird was slow I just felt like
like I had to pressure her back. I don't think I played enough variety of shots and she was able to move me around and also I was not confident at the front court. Whenever I get a high at the front, I kind of just either push or just like net like normal shots. I feel like if I did more stuff, maybe some like deception, it would have broke her timing, broke her footwork a little bit. So then she would be in a bad position. I think I did one actually in the second game. I did like a deception and she got it like late and she lifted it. So I think I should have done more of that so then I could get more attacking opportunities. There were some really, really long rallies and I was so tired. But I feel like all the long, long rallies we had, I usually won the point. But then afterwards I'd lose easy points. So I'm just like, oh my God, like I worked so hard for that one point and then I lose easy points. I've talked to some coaches here and they say that I have strength, I have power, I have speed, I have stamina, but I'm lacking skills and weapons. I can rally, I can play, but I cannot win points because I don't have enough skills like deception, overhead reverse slice. Like I can do those shots during training, but I'm not confident enough to use those shots in a tournament. So I think I need to practice those shots more and work more on skills because right now training is really focused on physical like three days of the week i do how many sets 12 plus 12 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 54 sets of multi shuttle with heavy jacket and then afterwards i do sprints so i feel like my training program is really focused around fitness physical and strength which i already have i need to gain some skills and make my shots more difficult for my opponent to anticipate and get at least i was able to get something out of my loss and now i just need to discuss it with my coach and potentially if I feel that I cannot get what I need in Canada I may have to go overseas to train obviously upset about my loss but at least I am now able to say what I'm lacking and I know what I need to improve on so I can improve on that and get better for next time sorry there's not much non badminton content in this vlog I'll put pictures of what I eat here the food here is alright I guess the Thai food here is very very good I ate Thai food like so many times we had Italian food last night. It was pretty good, but pretty expensive low-key. Also, the currency here is so whack Like everything is like a dollar of BHD, which is the money here. One BHD is like 2.6 USD So it's actually like a lot, but it feels like really little because the numbers are really small if that makes sense Anyways, I just thought that was a fun fact. Also, they use Saudi Arabian money here as well But it's like not the actual value that it says on the bill does that make sense? Like for example, I think there's a Saudi Arabian bill that says 100 but that's actually equal to 1 BHD So then when you pay here, that's actually equal to 1 BHD. Basically, it's just really confusing, okay? Anyways, I thought I'd tell you guys that because I don't know, I've never experienced something like this. Thai food here is very good actually. This one Thai place really makes me miss Thailand, guys. The noodles, mmm, so good, so, so good. And the watermelon juice, wow. Sad that I lost first round in doubles and singles this tournament, but it is what it is. All I can do is train and come back stronger and do better next time. Actually, if Wendy and I won our quals match against the Chinese Taipei pair, I think we could have made quarters in main draw for doubles because the Chinese Taipei players made it to quarters easily. So I'm kind of sad about that, but it's okay. We don't really train doubles. We just play for fun and kind of just play so we can get used to the court more. But I still don't like losing. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the disappointing results. I just need to find a coach to put me on the right track and help me out. And I'll be on my way to getting better, improving, and better results, hopefully. I guess that's it. Please like and subscribe if you would like to. And I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye!